That's good. Steady yeah. shot there. These differ yeah. from the true eels in having the uh, pair of fins on the belly, uh, middle uh, of the belly, the pelvis, and also a short corpus fin on the uh, back of the fish. Yeah, large uh, sensory fins on the head and yeah. large scale yeah. sensory organs along the body can be seen in this video. So in the uh, uh, they say where there's no sunlight, just to use it as a type of vibration and pressure changer to uh, affect pred predators and prey in the water. Pretty far out there. Yeah. Open their large mouths and swallow yeah, it. So this is a uh, type of angler fish. It's in the genus Sladenia. Uh, S L A D E N I A. A uh, little bit of confusion now about the species that we're seeing. Uh, it's, uh, previously, these have been called uh, Sladenia remiger based on a species of stripes in the Philippines, but. Uh, John Caruso, an expert on this group, thinks that these may be Slovenia uh, garden. Still a bit of particulate material, sort of, you know, marine snow within the water column. It's a little more hazy than it was when we started the dive. Um, it's a possible indication of, of food availability within this area. Coming up. Okay, coming up. Okay, yeah. as soon as the light's good. You're clear to come up? Yeah. Okay, video? I haven't seen one of these before. Up there? Well. Not any recent dives, at least. Okay. So, so drop this curve part of the body on to the X curves. Focus. Go for it. Super narrow body. A really large eye. I wonder if they usually do that curling, curving posture, or if that's some behavior we haven't seen before. Clear all around. Okay. I wonder what's on the end. It seems like there's something Yeah, on the, on the end of the top of the squid, there's a parasite or something. Parasite or something. Slightly yeah. reflective or white coming up. Fragment of something yeah. it could be a copepod or could be. I can barely really see any characteristic parts, but the squid is really incredible. Yeah, it's definitely doing us a favor, behaving so well. I wonder if that's damage. Could I was thinking it could be damage. Something nipped it. Not really Thank clear. You. So these squids, uh, for our other viewers, are mollusks related to bivalves, gastropods, or snails. They have an internal shell rather than an external shell, which allows them to move around. Altitude 5, you're good. At times, very rapidly. But they have eight tentacles and two arms, usually. On top of his tentacle. Uh, okay. Which is what we're looking at now. He's going down. We've got plenty of room. Or eight arms and two tentacles. Down. Yeah. Sw swap that and reverse it. <laughs> If 
computer typing your, your response to correct me. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's great just, just to make sure everyone's listening at home. Yep. Keeping you on your toes. Might get a little tug. Yeah, I just feel that. This will right. be a good highlight reel. So, uh, see if you can get him in this distance. Yeah. Thanks, Pilot. That was great. Yeah. yeah. I to the end of my tether here, but still got it. All right, let's... Turn our attention back to the seafloor. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, we can get some nice images to our shoreside cephalopod experts. Get some ID I back. Want to soon. Video. Uh, just let it, just hand it off the screen. Thank you. 